quite simply read and study and turn off the television, turn off all the silly nonsense of government, and it's just incredible nonsense. And start educating yourself. The United States federal government is a privately owned company. That's a it's a corporation. The whole government. Of course. It's a private, it's like General Motors, Ford Motor Company, uh, Sears. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, and it's, a, it's a privately owned, but see, most people don't understand. The United States government is a corporation. It is a privately owned company. Who owns it? Oh, well, that's different. Now you're getting, <laughs> now, I'm asking the yeah, right now you're question. asking the right question. <laughs> There's a world of difference between the United States and the word United States of America. You still put yourself under these people and want to believe that you are a U.S. citizen? No, you're not. The U.S. corporation, the occupational government, which was founded in 1861 under the Emergency War Powers Act that eventually came what they called the Libra Code. What really happened was that they forced an agenda and Lincoln and them put out something to say that the United States federal government, which is a foreign government, uh -huh. to the Republic of the United, excuse me, to the Republic of so-called America, what they call United States of America and General Congress assembled. That's the original preamble government that existed here under the Articles of Confederation, under the Article of Association. And uh -huh. that government was based on our people. Right. Period. When Congress passed the Act of 1871, it created a separate corporate government for the District of Columbia. This treasonous act allowed the District of Columbia to operate as a corporation outside the original Constitution of the United States and outside of the best interests of American citizens. And understand those systems did not come in to force until 19 and 13 after Skull and Bones Woodrow Wilson sold the government to under the secret treaty of Verona that you have right there to representatives of England for the Popes of Rome to sell what they had conquered. Finally, the last of the generations that had any inkling of consciousness of their bloodline. And they met on Jekyll Island off the coast of Georgia. And under the secret treaty of Verona, all the Christian nations, representatives, agreed to not contradict each other. And they split up more of your estate. A corrupt U.S. Congress committed the biggest theft in world history. They passed Paul Warburg's Federal Reserve Act in 1913, handing over America's gold and silver reserves and total control of America's economy to the Rothschild banksters. Most Americans still believe that the Fed or Federal Reserve is the government. It is not. The Fed is a privately owned banking system whose majority Class A shareholders are the Rothschilds, Warburgs, Kuhn and Loeb, J.P. Morgan, Rockefeller, Israel Seif, and the Lehman Brothers. This private banking cartel is the Fed and is never audited and never pays taxes. They print and design America's money, which displays their symbols of an Egyptian pyramid, a Masonic all-seeing eye, and the words, in God we trust. Most U.S. citizens believe that the United States is a country and that the President is the most powerful man on Earth. The United States is not a country. It is a corporation and the president is president of the corporation of the United States. He and his elected officials work for the corporation, not for the American people. Since the United States is a corporation, who owns the corporation of the United States? Like Canada and Australia, whose leaders are prime ministers of the Queen and whose land is called Crown Land, the United States is just another crown colony. Crown colonies are controlled by the empire of three city-states. At the center of each city-state is a towering, phallic-shaped stone monument called an obelisk that points skyward. In D.C. city-state, the obelisk, known as the Washington Monument, was dedicated to Freemason George Washington by the Freemason Grand Lodge of the District of Columbia. A third city-state was officially created in 1982 that city-state is called the District of Columbia and is located on 10 square miles of land in the heart of Washington. The District of Columbia flies its own flag and has its own independent constitution. Although geographically separate, the city-states of London, the Vatican, and the District of Columbia are one interlocking empire called Empire of the City. 
The flag of Washington's District of Columbia has three red stars, one for each city-state in the three-city empire. This corporate empire of three city-states controls the world economically through London's inner city, militarily through the District of Columbia, and spiritually through the Vatican. The Constitution for the District of Columbia operates under a tyrannical Roman law known as Lex Fori, which bears no resemblance to the U.S. Constitution. Uh, there's a world of difference in words and law. I mean, when you go to court, there's a very big difference between a trial by jury or a jury trial. Does it mean the same thing? Uh -huh. There's a very big difference between California State and the state of California. Does it mean the same it thing? It doesn't? No, like, no. Like what's the difference to that? Cal, right? Cal State is the state we uh -huh. call California. That's the state. Uh -huh. But state of California yeah. is different. What's that has nothing to do with California. That's the federal government operating within the confines of the state of California. So any time you see the state of, that means it's a federal corporation operating within California. But California is called Cal State. That's why you have California State University, California State this, and California State. That's California. But state of California is the federal government. Mm. Do people know that you No, 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 no. People don't know any of this. None of this. Nobody <laughs> Because it doesn't have anything to do with football. So who the hell needs to know about any of this stuff? I need to know because I don't like being played for a fool. Yeah. I want to know who's running this country. You don't want to be manipulated. I, 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 don't, I refuse to be manipulated. I want to know exactly who's doing what. I want to know how they're doing it and how are they messing with my mind and my money and my family. So I want to know. 99% of the people I run into, they couldn't care less as long as the beer's cold and football's on. They don't care. But when people vote <coughs> for like a president, what is happening? Or that doesn't... You go to the polls. What is a poll? I mean, you, a poll is when you take a you take a consensus of the people. Which one of these fruitcakes do you want to bow down to and give your money to? Do you want this group all here, or that airhead here, or this ding-a-ling over here? Right. We just want to know the basic concept. What, what do you, which one do you people like? It obviously <clears> doesn't seem to matter. They all work for me, so it doesn't matter. But but uh, right. but to make you people happy, would you rather have a woman over here? Would you rather have a black guy? Or would you rather have this uh, old white man? Which one would you like? Nothing uh, changes. You mean Obama says... Let's it doesn't have, matter, because yeah. I own them all anyway. Right. It's who, just who, business. Who, Come who on, this is a mob. Well, who is the mob? We're talking, we're talking the mafia here. Well, we're who, talking who, the who, underworld. Who are these people? You know, the, the, the Illuminati, the... Um, just the, business. Nothing personal. Don't take this personal. <laughs> but there's someone behind it. That's oh, you bet there is. Huh? Yeah. The Spanish Inquisition is the foundation of the entire modern world's politics. And every politician knows it, every reverend knows it, every Shriner knows it, every Master Mason knows it, every member of Skull and Bones, Keiko's Ku Klux Klan, Knights of Malta, Daughters of American Revolution, Daughters of ISIS. Why do they know it? because they belong to the secret societies to get the truth that's held from the masses. That's the beginning of the European hegemony on the North Gate. This is why persons in your secret societies in your highest degrees refer to themselves as the keepers of the North Gate. That's the cosmological name for Turtle Island, or what you know as North America, land of the Moors, the land of Nod. And everybody knows it but you. Do you understand? And when you think that your so-called black leaders don't have this information just because they don't talk about it, don't hold your breath, because they do. But it doesn't generate finance. It's a game. And they've all been playing it on you. Take it or leave it, that's the fact. How many of you know that the 1040 form comes under that secret treaty of Verona, and everything that you give according to the entry of the age of Aries, or what you call the season of Aries, to the east, that you call east star, stars now in the east, that 40% um, goes to the Queen of England and the other 60% goes to the Popes of Rome. Not a penny goes to your children. How many people know that that's 
a tribute under the secret treaty of Verona. And how come your leader guys haven't told you all that? Why you're so poor? Why you're being drained? Why they don't want to discuss these things? 